Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Idioms 411. The idiom today is to beat a dead horse. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. Uh, the British version is to flog a dead horse. You know, flog is another word for also like whip or beat. Uh, if someone beats or flogs a dead horse, it basically means that one is attempting to get something from a person or situation or thing that could not possibly give more. Uh, it could also mean that someone is trying to create fresh interest in something that already has no hope or is already settled. It's over, forget it, nothing you could do about it. You're beating a dead horse. All right, let's continue. The origin of this phrase is believed to arrive from the fact that in the past, people often beat horses to give them orders or different or, or directions to do something. Yeah, today you got to be careful. To be honest, they still do hit the horse a little bit, but not as much as in the past. Thus, if a horse is already dead, it doesn't matter how many times you hit him or beat him, it will all be in vain because he is already dead. Uh, he can no longer feel pain and won't respond to beating. Thus, there is no point to it. Uh, this idea uh, was already mentioned in writings as early as the, uh, you know, as early as the Roman Empire, as the Roman playwright uh, Plantus in 195 BC. All right, let's continue. Uh, there is a second theory. A uh, second theory of this phrase is claimed by John, uh, probably uh, Chiardi. Uh, to come from the way British merchant seamen would be paid. Many were paid uh, a certain sum in advance called a dead horse uh, because uh, before sailing, before, before actually leaving on their ship. Then they would get no pay until they worked off all the labor they were already paid for or until the dead horse ha was flogged, basically, or the dead horse was already beaten. So he claims this phrase actually came from that. All right, anyway, and we got three examples to show just how we would use it. Here's the first one. Uh, there is no way you are going to change his mind. Uh, you are beating a dead horse. So this is somebody trying to change somebody's mind, and the other person thinks, forget it. It's never going to happen. You're beating a dead horse. Don't even bother. Don't try. All right, number two, don't start arguing about that again. It is just beating a dead horse, meaning whatever it is you're trying to, again, argue about it, but maybe there's no solution or no result or it won't go the way you want it to go. Number three, uh, that policy has already proven to be a total failure. Trying to revive it, you know, bring it back to life, bring it back again. Uh, is like beating a dead horse. You maybe no one will want to listen to it. Okay, anyway, hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it was informative. Thank you for your time. Bye bye.